Now, let's talk about the second leg of a company. Let's proceed with the products of Sante International. But before I do that, let us have some health talk. Let me just give you a glimpse. What are the major causes of death and mortality in the Philippines? Ano po ba talaga ang pumapatay sa isang Pilipino? Nowadays, I do believe, and based on statistics, that most deaths are caused not by old age, but by diseases. Do you still remember of someone na kakilala nyo na namatay dahil sa sobrang tanda? Or marami sa kanila na mamatay because of diseases? Do you know that on the average, a Filipino life expectancy for males is 67 years old? At sa mga kababaihan naman po, ay 73 years old. Bakit kaya pabata ng pabata ang namamatay sa ating mga Pilipino? And the next question is, bakit kaya mas mahaba ang buhay ng mga kababaihan kaysa kalalakihan? Well, I've talked to several people and maybe these are the top three reasons. Number one, women are very emotional. And in times of problems and heartaches, ang mga kababayihan daw po, kayang ilabas yan by crying. Na ilalabas po nila ang sama ng kanilang mga loob. Pero minsan po, kaming mga kalalakihan, hirap na hirap po kaming ilabas yan or re-express yung feeling namin. Number two, according to some doctors, women daw have menstruation. Ibig sabihin yung ibang dumi at toxin sa katawan nila, kayang ilabas on a monthly basis through their monthly period. And number three, I don't know if you will agree, sabi po ng ibang kalalakihan, kaya raw po maagang namamatay ang mga lalaki ay dahil po konsumido raw sa mga babae. Hindi po, biru lang yung number three. But let's face it, ladies and gentlemen, these are facts that by far, 67 years old ang mga kalalakihan 73 years old ang average na buhay ng kababaihan. And now, let me discuss to you what are the major causes of death in the country. May nakuha po kaming data from 1999 up to present. At eto na po yun. The number one cause of death as of the moment is still heart disease. Number two is disease of the vascular system. Number three is malignant neoplasm tumor or cancer. Number four is pneumonia. And number five is tuberculosis. This is according to the Philippine Health Statistics. Now the question is this. Why is it that through the years, okay, since 1999, yung top five major causes of death ay hindi po nagbabago? Heart disease, laging yan ang number one. The question is, what are the major causes Culprit. Sino ba talagang may kasalanan? Let's identify some major causes, some major culprits that are the reasons on why the top five causes of death, even until now, yung parin po. Number one is air pollution. We don't have a choice, mga kapatid. Araw-araw yung nilalang hap nating hangin, hindi natin sigurado kung malinis pa. Sa itim ng usok ng mga sasakyan sa mga pollution na ibinubuga ng mga factories dito po sa Pilipinas, hindi natin sigurado kung yung hangin na nilalanghap natin ay malinis. Number two, of course, is water pollution. Hindi na rin natin sigurado kung ang tubig na iniinom natin ay talaga bang malinis o hindi. Dati po, nung kapanahon ng mga parents natin, ng mga lola natin, ang tubig iniinom lang galing gripo. Pero ngayon po, hindi na tayo makainom ng tubig sa gripo. Bakit po kaya? Simple lang. Because we believe that it's not safe anymore to drink water from the faucet because of water pollution. And we don't have a choice. Next, of course, is the food that we eat. Yung nutritional support na kailangan natin na hindi natin nakukuha sa mga pagkain kinakain natin. Napakarami na po ng fast foods nowadays. And we don't have a choice because of our very, very busy schedule Halos hindi tayo makapagluto ng pagkain at lahat ay binibili na lang natin sa labas. And even those people na nakakapagluto pa sa bahay at nakakapamalengke, 
Ang tanong is, sigurado ba tayo that the vegetable that we are taking ay walang mga chemicals? Because another reason on why dumadami po ang taong nagkakaroon ng sakit sa puso, cancer, and other major cause of death is because of the chemicals that are being sprayed in our vegetables. Hindi na po natin talaga sigurado eh kung ano ba ang ginamit o ano ba ang pamamaraan para ating mga halaman, ating mga gulay ay palakihin at patubuin ng ating mga kababayan. Now of course, another reason on why the top five major cause of death is still inexistent for so many years now is because of an unhealthy lifestyle. Marami po sa atin ang naninigarilyo. Marami ang umiinom. Marami ang may iba-ibang bisyo. Alam naman po natin na ito po ay nakakadagdag or nakakontribute sa ating pong mga diseases at mga sakit. Isama na rin po natin dyan yung tinatawag na too much drinking of alcohol. Isama na rin natin yung nightlife. Now the question is this, he, porkit ba hindi tayo gumigimik sa gabi, hindi tayo nag enjoy wala tayong nightlife, ay hindi na tayo apektado nitong sistemang ito. Papaalala ko lang po sa ating mga tigapakinig, to all our listeners, that people nowadays who are working in call center, hindi po makakaligtas dito. And these ladies and gentlemen are the reason on why tayo po ay nagkakasakit. On why the top five cause of death is really evident in our society, maybe not only now, but in the future generation. So we don't have a choice. We're faced with this fact. And the next question is, what can we do to at least supplement these deficiencies para maiwasan po natin ang mga sakit? we found out that there's a solution. There's a way on how to supplement ourselves with nutrition that hindi po natin nakukuha sa mga pagkain kinakain natin. We've been studying food supplements for several years now. And in fact, ang dami na po namin tinig ng produkto with a hope that someday we can find a product so powerful that it can really counter nutritional problems of people, especially here in the Philippines. And we came into something that's so powerful na kami, kahit kami po mismo ay hindi kami maniwala eh. We came across a doctor named Dr. Hagiwara. Okay? Hindi po namin siya na-meet in person, but we researched all over the internet for someone in authority when it comes to a powerful food supplement. Namit po namin sa internet si Dr. Yoshihide Hagiwara. He is a doctor, a scientist, an inventor, a pharmacology, and an entrepreneur. Nag-aral po siya ng more than 150 vegetables and herbs, and he found out that there's a herb or a grass named barley. Nung pinag-aralan po niya yon, ang napatunayan niya lang is that barley is the only vegetation on earth that can supply nutritional support from birth up to old age. That's how powerful barley is. And it's so exciting because nung tinitingnan namin yung barley, it's considered as a total complete food. In fact, barley is considered as a product recognized by science as the most nutritious of all plant foods containing a broad spectrum of essential amino acid, vitamins, minerals, enzymes. Meron pa po itong chlorophyll, phytonutrients, and phytochemicals that our bodies require for the proper functioning of organs and the immune system. Scientific fact shows that barley really has lots of micronutrients. In fact, it has 17 minerals, 16 vitamins, 20 enzymes, and 18 amino acids. And it's very exciting considering na itong gulay na ito, itong vegetable na to, ay present na during the early times pa. Pero how come ngayon lang natin nakita ang power ng barley? Based on study, makikita po natin that barley is, number one, 11 times 
calcium, and 30 times the vitamin B1 than cow's milk. Five times the iron, six times carotene, and three times vitamin C than spinach. Barley is also two times the beta carotene of carrots, seven times the vitamin C of orange. It's four times the vitamin B1 than whole wheat flour and 80 milligrams of vitamin B12 per 100 grams. And this is according to the Resource Research Association Office of Science and Technology, Japan Food Analysis Center. Let me discuss to you yet another important term in nutrition na medyo nadidinig po natin araw-araw, especially whenever we talk about food supplement. And this is the word antioxidant. And do you know that antioxidant is being measured based on its ORAC value or oxygen radical absorbance capacity? To discuss this to you further, let me just give you the top two vegetable and the top two fruit when it comes to antioxidant value or ORAC values. Ano kaya ang tingin yung number one when it comes to fruits? Based on statistics, the number one is prunes with a 5,770 ORAC value. Number two is raisins with 2,830. And when it comes to vegetable, number one is kale. And kale is a variant of repolio with a 1,770 ORAC value. Ang pangalawa po dyan ay spinach with a 1,260 ORAC value. Sinama ko na rin po yung isang fruit na alam nating napaka-powerful in terms of antioxidant. But based on study, it has 739 ORAC value. We were surprised when we found out that barley alone, meron po itong 25,500 ORAC value per 100 grams. And this is by far, ladies and gentlemen, one, if not the most powerful antioxidant known to man. No other food can give us this antioxidant protection. Napaka-powerful po talaga ng barley. Yung kailangan ng ating katawan na nami-miss out natin sa pang-araw-araw natin kinakain ay makukuha pa natin sa barley. Ladies and gentlemen, this is really very exciting because eto pong barley, sabi nga po ng isa kong kaibigan, this is a gift from nature. One of the most important point that I would like to present to you about barley is that there is already a claim coming from the US FDA. Meron pong isang circulation na nilabas some several years back na according to FDA or the US Food and Drug Administration that today the Food and Drug or the FDA announced that it has finalized a rule that allows foods containing barley to claim that they can reduce the risk of coronary heart disease. Mga kapatid, napaka-importante po nito para sa atin, considering that the number one cause of death in the Philippines is still, still heart disease. And by far, sinabi na po ng FDA yan, we can already claim that barley can really reduce the risk and even eliminate heart disease. Importante pong malaman natin yan dahil po napakarami nating kamag-anak at kaibigan na mayroong risk na magkaroon ng sakit sa puso. Mga kapatid, barley po is a solution. Nandito na po. Brought to you by Sante International. Now, let me discuss to you the products of Sante. By far, Sante launched three products. First is the Sante Barley Pure New Zealand. One box po pag kayo distributor ng kumpanya is 600 pesos per box. 10 pesos po lumalabas per capsule and if you're not our distributor, you can buy the product at 900.